I have a small room in my home that I use as an office. And because I wanted to maximize the space, I decided to try the Billy bookcases with the corner unit. I also purchased the Billy corner hardware, hoping that would help me set it up evenly and securely. I did not buy the bookcases that they show on the page because that unit comes with an additional height that I did not want. So I bought each individual piece separately. I bought one small and two of the larger units. And seeing how well everything fit together in the pictures and at the store, it made me believe that this was a, an easy thing to do. As most of you know, IKEA does not come with any written instructions. So looking at this particular page, I didn't realize that each of the bottom braces comes with a notch and you're supposed to actually fit that notch on the bookcase exactly where that arrow is pointing. So that was my first mistake. Secondly, I tried putting the corner unit in first and then connecting the two side units. That did not work either. So what I have figured out is that I need to start with the side unit. I need to measure 22 and a half inches from the opposite wall in order to get the corner unit to fit perfectly. So here's what I have so far. I've measured 22 and a half inches from each wall and I've put the corner brace on the bottom of each of the larger units. My next step is to try and fit this smaller unit into that space and hope that it matches up evenly like it shows in the pictures. Here is my first attempt. The one side matched up well, but the other side did not, and it needs to go in another eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch in order for the small unit to fit in the bracket. Because I'm doing this on carpeting, I'm actually having to lift up the unit and pull it in and out instead of sliding. It's just not easy to slide it on the carpet. Okay, so I moved the bookcases around a little bit between 22 and 3 eighths and 22 and a half and finally got the bottom to fit very well. One thing to make sure you do is put these together without the shelves on other than the stationary shelf because Picking up that little piece or that middle unit and moving the other ones is very hard otherwise. So the bottom part is even. The two side units are pretty much level, but I am faced with a problem on the top where neither side butts up against the other one. So I'm going to try putting the side braces that come with the unit for the top on to see if that helps. Here's what the instructions show you to do on the top. Fortunately, the holes are pre-drilled in the top to put these pieces in. But don't do what I just did and drop one of the screws behind the unit. I'm gonna to have to figure out how to get that out. Fortunately, those screws were magnetic and I was able to pull it out with a magnet. After getting the units together, I see that the tops are not exactly tightly butted up against each other. So I may try and adjust the bottom to have a little bit of space like this also. Another thing I've noticed is the huge amount of space back here behind this corner unit. I have cats that like to jump up on top of my shelves, 
So I think I'm going to have to figure out another way to prevent them from falling behind like the screw did. But that's another video. Okay, so here's how the finished corner unit looks. I did actually pull the bottom pieces out or the bottom of the larger units over a smidge just so that there was a little bit of space at the bottom like there is at the top and it looks really good. It's not really hard when you know what you're doing. It just takes a little bit of time. Good luck.